remaining. Be grateful I killed you quickly. Take flight. Parting the vision. Don't resist. Shoot. One enemy remaining. There they are. No one who run! Spike down A. Results. Reloading. Reloading. Still in sight. Enemy One enemy remaining. Long. Enemy remaining. Flawless. Oh, baby. Such trash. That's pretty. That's that's sweet. That was sweet. I take it. Take flight. Multiple enemies. A. <laughs> Healing you. Spike down. A. <sighs> One enemy <sighs> remaining. Enemy spawn. Your life won't go to waste. Let's go. Let's get drop your like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. You never expect this. Check it out. Three, two, one. One enemy oh, remaining. Me. So easy. Hey. Reloading. Shot back. Last player standing. One enemy remaining. You will not kill my allies. One enemy remaining. Enemy remaining. Shot dark. So, so. Reloading. Forgive me if I don't grieve. Aye. Aye, aye. Fabulous. Enemy remaining. Yeah. Spike down A. Where does this lurk? Wait, the spike is planted. Or not? Reloading. What the heck? Barrier created. Excuse me. You uh, deserve uh. <laughs> Spike planted. Get out of my way! I'll handle this. One enemy remaining. Flawless. <laughs> Captain killed. Our spikes oh. down. Spike down, B. <laughs> Last player standing. One enemy oh, remaining.
take flight. Parasite. Reloading. Cool bridge. Reloading. Oh my god, look at this angle. What the hell? Alright boys, so for this segment of the video, uh, I'm going to be showing you guys the way I like to DM, the way I like to practice my aim. A lot of you guys ask me like if I have a routine and stuff like this. I do the Kovex uh, routine for about an hour uh, when I wake up. Like I put some music on, I do some uh, exercises in my playlist. So if you have Kovex, just search Noted Playlist. It's going to be like in the playlist section over there. Uh, after doing that, I like to do this full one hour. Uh, listening to some music of course or some podcast depending on on the day and afterwards i hop into the game i go to the range i do 30 minutes into range just shooting the bots like back and forth like practicing strafing and stuff ad ad uh, i can go in depth like in another video if you guys want but the main thing i want to talk with you guys about today is like the main thing about deathmatch is that when you hop into a deathmatch everyone wants to win the deathmatch and you're not gonna get anything from it if you just wanna win the deathmatch. You need to learn, okay, what I need to improve here, what I'm what I wanna work on. Is it my strafes, my AD, AD, shoot, shoot, or is it my one taps, or is it my first bullet accuracy? I want to flick and get the, the quick headshot and then uh, correct. Or I want to flick and then after flicking, correcting a little bit and then one tapping. I wanna make sure like Always try to have something in mind when you go into a deathmatch to practice because if you just go and play all day uh, for like four or five hours you're not gonna improve you probably improve like your mechanical skills but you're not gonna improve uh, like really really improve like truly improve you know I don't know if you guys can understand what I mean um, the best way I can tell you guys is that always have a purpose so if you're playing unrated match or ranked match always play at your max level because if you're playing at your best always when it comes to a challenge that you're playing against better players or like if you're radiant and you're playing against the top 10 radiance uh you're always going to be prepared because you're always going to be playing your best you know so that's i think that's what i have in mind and sometimes i like on this sometimes i play and i kind of don't really want to play and i'm like yeah whatever i'm just in autopilot mode you know so when you're going to auto autopilot mode that's when you need to stop and rethink what you're doing so uh, the way you're picking angles try to always have an angle checking routine and this is something like i'm telling you guys because a lot of you guys ask uh, about this and this is like something that i wish i knew uh, before i started playing the game so if someone if a dude came and say like a friend of mine came and say this type of stuff i would like to know to learn faster i think that's the best way uh that i that i've learned and going going through all of this like i've been a pro in rainbow six and in apex and for the past few years um for the past six years of my life i've been like trying to go pro or being a pro in games and for me it's like so stressful like one thing that i've learned about myself that i can i cannot handle stress well uh because i'm very chill dude like if, if you meet me in real life i'm super chill like i'm I'm very uh, shy, you know, so for me, it's like something that at the end of the day, uh, I don't think I was born to play professionally because my personality is very, uh, I'm, I'm very shy, man. That's, that's, that's what I can say. I, I'm not really, I'm very introverts, you know, so yeah, uh, other than this, this I just want to say uh, thank you very much for all the support you guys have been giving me uh, in the videos. It's crazy i wanted to do something like this for a long time show some dm uh stuff uh because i don't think you guys ever saw me dm here or how i'd like to practice my aim i i have one or two videos that, that i talk about aiming on this channel but a lot of people ask me in the daily basis to do another so i don't know i can do another but i feel like we need to get like 600,000 subs that we have like a, a purpose to be doing something special so when we get a 600k you guys can come here and be like yo where's the note where's the aim guy noted like do the aim guide or do whatever like you know, like a guide you guys ask me <clears throat> uh another thing that i want to talk about is my sensitivity a lot of people are asking what i'm using now i went back to my fast sensitivity 
uh when i used to play phoenix i used to have like extremely high sensitivity and what i mean to, with that is that for for uh valorant i've been using eternal dpi uh and the sensitivity is 0 0.81 so it's kind of high if you're not used to it but that's pretty much what it is i hope you guys enjoy uh let me know in the comments man if you guys enjoyed this part of the video i i try i wanted to do something new like this for a long time and yeah i enjoyed it it was a good time thank you very much boys see you guys next one peace out bye